In section 1.7, we're going to be talking about integrals related to inverse trig functions, especially, and how to manipulate some of these uh, rational functions that we might see in the integrand in order to uh, in order to get some kind of inverse trig function out. So example one, we want to recall how to integrate one over one plus four x squared. So remember we saw this in the section 1.5 uh, lecture guide. So this is uh, one over one plus four x squared dx. We said the key thing to do here was to recognize this as the integral of one plus, uh, one over one plus two x squared dx. And this allowed us to make the substitution u equals two x in order to get our integrands to become one over one plus u squared which was a function that we knew how to integrate. So just as a quick reminder, this told us that du dx was uh, two, and so du over two equals dx. So uh, under this substitution, this integral becomes one over one plus u squared du over two. And so in the end, this was one half arctan of u, plus c, and replacing u by 2x, we get 1 half arctan of 2x plus c. So the key idea here was that when we have a constant in front of the x squared, we're in pretty good shape. We don't really know what to do, however, when there's not a 1 there. And that's what we have going on in this example. We have a nine here, even though there's no constant out front of that x squared term. So the way that we're going to do it is take this problem that we don't know how to do and turn it into a problem that we do know how to do. We're gonna take this nine and turn it into some kind of coefficient on that x squared. And the way that we're going to do it is by factoring out a nine from the denominator. So if I have this integral of one over nine plus x squared dx, I can factor a nine out of the denominator. So one over nine times one over one plus x squared out of nine dx. And now this might seem like a, a silly way of writing things, but what I can do now is factor this one ninth out of the integral. And I can recognize that x squared over 9 is the same thing as x over 3 squared. Now I want to play the same trick. I want to let u equal this x over 3 here in order to make my integrand 1 over 1 plus u squared. So doing that, u equals x over 3 is going to tell me that du times 3 equals dx. And so we can have 1 over 9 here, where we have the integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared. We're going to replace dx by 3 du. And so we get uh, 3 over 9 times arctan of u plus c. And 3 over 9 is 1 third. Arctan of u is x over 3 plus c. And we have here our uh, we have here our antiderivative. So we're able to take advantage of the fact that uh, scalar multiplication works really nicely with integrals. We can take this one ninth and just pull it out front of the integral. Uh, and then we're we're able to use u substitution here in order to take this denominator, in order to take this uh, this x over three squared and just treat it as u squared. So let's uh, see this strategy play out one more time in example number two here. So in example number two, we've got the integral of one over four plus 25 x squared. So we have kind of both things going on here, a non one constant there and a non one coefficient on my x squared. But again, we can handle this in a very similar way. First, we want to eliminate this not one coefficient here by factoring a four out of the denominator. So here I'll have one over four times the integral of one over one plus 25 x squared out of four. Complicated looking expression down there, but we can realize it as 
1 over 1 plus uh, 5x over 2 squared. Now that we've figured out what kind of the, the thing that's being squared in that lower right corner of the integrand is, we can let u be that thing. So in this case, u is going to be 5x over 2. So du, uh, let's see, 2 over 5 du is going to be dx. And now we can do our substitution. So this is 1 over 4. Integral of 1 over 1 plus u is 5x over 2, so this is u squared. dx we can replace by 2du over 5. And now uh, we can factor that 2 fifths out of the integrand to get uh, 2 out of 20 integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared du. And now we get 1 tenth arctan of u plus c and finally we can replace u back in terms of x so this is 1 out of 10 arctan of 5x over 2 plus c so we have this uh, very nice very nice expression in terms of, of arctangent and just some numbers uh, that works out to be the antiderivative of this slightly more complicated looking uh, equation here in terms of uh, this, this rational function 1 over 4 plus 25x squared. So this is good. This is uh, telling us that we have some nice, um, some nice strategies to approach things which look a lot like 1 over 1 plus x squared. Uh, this strategy, however, isn't going to work in every case, uh, as we'll be able to see here in the next example. So take a look at what's going on here. We have a very similar looking integrand, except for the, except for the numerator. We've replaced the numerator by x. Um, so instead of 1 over 4 plus 25x squared, we have x over 4 plus 25x squared. So it's going to be very difficult for us to apply any of the similar strategies that we had for arctangent because we can't factor x's out of integrals. We're allowed to factor constants out. We can factor out 10, we can factor out 100, we can factor out 1 ninth, um, but there's, there's no way to integrate anything that isn't, there's no way to factor out anything that isn't constant. So it's going to turn out that, that really the old strategy that we were using of trying to get it to look like 1 over 1 plus x squared is going to fail here. We're going to need a different strategy entirely, and the strategy, uh, as you might be able to guess, is uh, going to be u substitution. In particular, I'm going to notice that the derivative of the denominator, so this uh, 4 plus 25 x squared, has derivative some, some scalar multiple of x dx. So what I can do is I can let the I can let my u be the denominator u equals four plus twenty five x squared, and then du dx is going to be fifty x, which is to say that du over fifty equals x dx. So now when doing this substitution, I can replace the denominator by u. And I can replace the x dx here in the numerator by du over 50. And now I have an integral that, again, I know how to do. Uh, this works out to be 1 out of 50. I can factor that out of the integrand. Uh, the 1 over u, when I integrate it, becomes natural log of absolute value of u plus c. And so I'm left here with 1 over 50 natural log of the absolute value of 4 plus 25 x squared plus c. So we see that the answer here doesn't even involve arctangent. Uh, so maybe the lesson here is that even though we, have, we had very similar looking integrands between the last two example problems that we were doing, the only difference was whether or not we had an x in the numerator or a 1 in the numerator, the strategies for doing these integrals are very different, and the end results that we get are very different. So be careful of this, especially as you are doing some of these practice problems, because sometimes problems which look similar have very different strategies, and sometimes problems which look similar have similar strategies. 
So try a lot of things out as you're doing this. Uh, again, the only way to really learn this is to learn by doing. So keep practicing.